Want to know how to do this? Let's find out. Today, we're going to create a photo like this without getting the fire department involved. All we need is some steel wool, a whisk, and for this occasion, a dog leash. You take your steel wool, double zero or finer, kind of just pull it apart like such in every, in all three directions, so it will, you know, burn and spark real nicely. Take your whisk, just kind of shove it in here. Normally you put more in, but this is all we have at the moment. Take your leash, clip it on nicely to your crappy whisk, you don't need a nice one, and then you just swing it around. Let's go outside. Okay, now you need a sturdy tripod and I don't have one. So instead, we're gonna use Aaron's video tripod. We haven't exactly done or tried this yet. So this is more like a test run, except we have to get it right. So let me frame my shot. Mm, that's nice. Okay. Do you have a lens cap on? Shut up. <laughs> Oh, where's my memory card? Don't tell me I left it at your house. I'm gonna set it for 30 seconds. Actually, 25. F9. These are kind of just guesstimates. And then we're going to set a timer, obviously. I'm gonna set it to 10 seconds. First, we're gonna just do a circle. Okay, here we go. We did it! That was easy. Okay, so now we're gonna point it somewhere else because it's there's too much light over there. I'm gonna change it to um, ISO 100. So I'm gonna set it to F10. Okay. Okay. Oh, there we go. Uh, 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 uh. Oh geez, there's a big piece right in front of me. <laughs> you see it burning on the ground? So this is working pretty well. That last time we got a lot of, a lot of sparks. We would have gotten more if this big piece didn't fly out. <laughs> sparks definitely touched me. I mean, I didn't feel them, cause, but like I know they were touching me because they, I mean, they were right in front of me. Ow, that one hit my head. Okay, so now that you got the idea how to do it, we're gonna try some different angles to really make it look unique. So I'm actually gonna be taking the photos and Aaron's gonna be doing the swinging now that he knows it's safe. Go, 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 go. Going. Ow! God! Ow! 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 <laughs> yeah, I think my hair caught on fire for a second there. All right, so I'm gonna go into sphere lighting. Here we go. Going. So as you can see, this isn't very difficult to do. It gives you really cool results, and hey, it even redeemed our bad night photography skills. So I really encourage you to try to do it on your own. It's really cool and fun, especially now that it's winter. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, and please check out our other videos. I'll see you next time.